Hello everybody, Gene Summy here. Today we're going to show a recessed window flashing strategy uh, that is supported by the Fortifiber Building Systems Group. And if you use the methods that we're going to demonstrate here in a few minutes, you'll be eligible for the FortiShield 10-year warranty. Also, we've published a PDF drawing and a CAD drawing of these steps and we found uh, that many architects and builders would like to see these steps uh, implemented. So this video will show you uh, exactly how to do these steps that we've published in, in both PDF and CAD versions. Now what you're going to see here today is a barrier method of window installation. In other words, we're going to seal all four sides of the nail fin and that does not anticipate water will get behind the nail fin. If you want a pan system under your window, you know, that's great. Just, you know, you have to adapt that to this because what we're going to show you here in a few minutes does not have a pan system, you know, flashing corners and all that under the window. Uh, the biggest reason why is that this method that we're going to show you is about 13 years old now. And 13 years ago, pan systems weren't nearly as common as they are today. So this is a barrier method of window installation. Uh, it works really great. We are going to demonstrate two different methods. Now one side, and I believe what we're going to do is the left side of the window, we're going to put easy seal on top of the nail fin after the window's been set. On the right side, we're going to do a, we're going to do a buttered sealant method, which means that we're going to put uh, an additional cap bead of sealant on top of the nail fin, and then we're going to butter that flat. And there's a lot of builders out here on the West Coast that prefer that. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, you can go either way. It's your choice, user choice. I like them both. Uh, I would say, though, that you'll see what we're going to do here in a few minutes at the edge of the Easy Seal method. Put a little bit of sealant right at the edge of the Easy Seal to prevent wrinkles uh, from being a problem. Now, Epi and Percy are going to do your installation here in a minute. You know, they really don't have wrinkles in their installation, but, you know, I recognize that, you know, they're kind of unique. Most of the time, particularly when you're working off scaffolding, you're going to get wrinkles. And you'll see that we're going to take some steps to eliminate the harm that wrinkles uh, might cause. You're also going to see us use a J-roller. You know, J-rollers are important, and we've learned that from experience. Thirteen years ago, we didn't use J-rollers. Maybe other people did. We didn't. What we found is that if you use a J-roller, you're going to get the same kind of adhesion to the substrate that you'd get if you used primer. So, you know, if you want to use a primer, great, but if you're not sure if you need a primer or not, if primer is not necessarily required in the documents, in the building documents, then just use a J-roller. J-rollers are great. They improve adhesion, and they eliminate wrinkles. So if I were you, I'd use a J-roller. Here we go. Thanks a lot for watching, and if you have any questions, you can call us anytime. 800-310-7673. Again, thank you very much. We appreciate it. Hi, Happy Hi, Percy. Hello. Hello. Okay, let's keep going. The first step is to apply bib. We use Moist Up Next as our bib. Then we apply sealant as shown. We use Moist Up Sealant. Now we apply the GS100A. It comes out of the box looking just like this. And you can see Percy presses it into the sealant and applies some staples to hold it in place. A secondary bead of sealant goes in place. And then the GS100B piece is installed. You can see it fits nicely. In some framing conditions, it will be proud of the framing. In that case, you just split it and fold it out like Percy is doing right here. This is how the corner flash assembly looks prior to counter flashing. Here, Percy installs the corner flash GS100A and GS100B in real time. You can see it is not difficult at all. We're going to begin our counter flashing and we want our four to flash membrane to terminate three inches onto the framing sill. So we measure the three different dimensions, in this case, 10 and a half inches, and we mark that point up the wall. This is where we line up our four to flash membrane, as you can see the guys doing here. Now 
Now it's time to cut the membrane vertically and fold it onto the substrate. Be careful, use your fingertips. This is where wrinkles happen. Now it's time for end dams. Just cut two square pieces of fortiflash and apply to the ends just as you see the guys doing here. Now we're going to take some moist stop sealant and apply it to the edges of our membrane. This is just in case some small wrinkles happen as the membrane was applied. Now it's time to flash the opening and protect our recessed flashing. We cut some Jumbo Tex building paper and we use some Moist Stop Next flashing. And we're applying it across the lower edge. Now we apply our side flashing. As you can see here, it's often run just a little bit long, in which case you fold it nicely to prevent it from wadding up. Now it's time to install the window. This is the way to apply sealant. Notice what a 3 8 inch plump bead of sealant looks like when it's applied to the outside edge of the nail fin. This is what squeeze out looks like. If you can't see squeeze out after you installed your window, then you didn't use enough sealant or you positioned it incorrectly. These are great fasteners. They're inch and five eighths, pan head self-drilling screws, and we like them. Go ahead. Install these at 12 inches on center, or as the manufacturer may require. On the left side of this window, we're going to apply Easy Seal. It's important to knock down your sealant while it's still wet so that the Easy Seal will lay nice and flat. Apply your Easy Seal just as Percy's doing here. Notice the easy seal is all the way up to the frame of the window and we don't have any wrinkles. Later, we're going to apply sealant right at this area just in case wrinkles have occurred. At the top, right, and bottom of this window, we're going to use a buttered sealant method. We apply a half inch bead of sealant on top of the nail fin and butter it down nice and flat like you see Percy doing right here. When the buttered sealant method is correctly performed, you'll see sealant extend to two inches beyond the frame of the window. Now it's time for the top corners. Some sealant is applied. Now the B piece is installed. It may be proud of the framing, in which case you split it and fold it up and out, and then install your GS100A on top of your GS100B.
just as Percy's doing here. Now that your upper corners are correctly installed, it's time to flash the top of the window. Our first course of flashing is moist stop next. Now it's time to apply the Forta Flash membrane across the top. Use a similar strategy as the one you used at the bottom. Take some measurements, know how far down you have to hold it, apply vertical slices and then fold the membrane into the opening in such a way that it terminates on top of the nail fin. This next step falls into the category of a good idea. It is not required for your Forda Shield warranty. However, if you're in a rainy environment, if there's a chance it'll rain during the course of construction, it's a good idea to run sealant across the top of your Forda Flash and butter it nice and flat. Here we're applying sealant at the edge of the Easy Seal. You can see Percy wetted his finger and worked it into place just like this. This prevents any damage from potential wrinkles. Okay, here is your completed assembly. Thank you very much for watching and thanks for your support.